Hello, welcome back to City Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are not done with the Buckingham Palace as they have finally broken their silence hours after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, accused the English monarchy of racism. During an interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired on CBS this week, the couple who has since, has since fled the UK for the United States said a member of the monarchy had expressed concerns about the potential color of their unborn son, Archie. Harry also said that race was one of the reasons why he took his family out of the palace and out of the UK. Meghan disclosed that her non-acceptance at the palace made her feel trapped and that she contemplated suicide. However, Buckingham Palace has now said in a statement that the accusation of race are concerning and that they, they will be addressed by the family privately. The palace also said recollections may vary, quote unquote, but the claims made in the opera interview are taken very seriously. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members, the statement read. He also stated as, as it ended really that the whole family is starting to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go in. I, I, I mean, I feel like it's a very nice write-up. Mm. The and Queen's the, response? Yes, a very okay. nice write-up, and that's what it is, a write-up. You think? Yes, absolutely. All righty. I think the, it's not a brand new incident for them to be like, oh, we had no idea that woe is me to Meghan. Somebody that has claimed um, to let it be known that she needed therapy and help, and you said it looked bad for the institution. Like, is it that you did not know about that, or you did not know that... Uh, in your entire UK, any magazine you picked up was defaming her character, mm. and that you, were you blind to her experience? You cannot say that you were blind to her experience. We watched how there were so many issues from the minute that they were dating, how there were issues, yeah. tension with with the mother. And remember the 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 uproar that happened when they did not allow the mother to come in and then after a while they made a speech about that and then they brought the mother in and they took a nice family picture. I don't know if you remember that picture. Mm. And the mother was the first black person with dreadlocks in the yeah. history of history. I remember that. Are you going to say that you don't know um, about, about their experience? Are you kidding me? Are you going to deny that there's racism in your palace? Because there's racism in the world. Are you also going to deny that it's impossible for racism to thrive in the palace, even if it's not you, the queen? Are you saying that it's not possible for her think, to be treated differently? Any. I'm not done, Ife. Okay, go on. So I think it's you a bit... You were asking a I think question. I'm, not, I'm asking a rhetorical it's question. Rhetorical. I, I'm, it's only okay. that I answered, I don't know answer English. for the palace. Exactly. Do you live in the palace? I, I, I don't know English uh -uh. now. So I, just, so I thought you were asking me. I think it's, I think I it's, I think it's a write-up. It's a PR stunt, and it's very impersonal. Mm. And the fact that you love them so dearly, and you did not know that there were concerns about her son's color, and you did not give that son the privilege he demanded. Oh, are you, who are you even writing the statement to? Is it somebody that does not read any facts and figures? Like every, every grandchild, every child of the Sussex family, is supposed to be protected by a some kind of royal um, title and pin and they do that when you're supposed to be baptizing the child they didn't give Archie that and they didn't have a right to take it away so what is the your racism is definitely happening there. thank you so happening. that statement for me was too written up and too perfect and too impersonal but I'm glad I'm really glad that the that the Queen actually even wrote something because she really didn't have to you know at the end of the uh, response she said that they want to handle it privately as yeah. family mm. and people are against that people are like it's they don't know they're not in agreement with that that mm. already this has this is out mm. so it should be it's not part of the world's business exactly it should be handled publicly not but i feel like i feel like i feel like it's a royal it's royalty so i mean it should be private yes i think so too i mean family matters even if it's not um, royal. I think family matters should be private. I'm not well, gonna. What do you think about um, 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 Meghan and Harry going that far to have that interview with um, Oprah? I think it's absolutely fine. It is. Uh, it is. It oh. is. I mean, for you to get to a point where you have, you know, this is a long time coming, and I don't know. Maybe it's because they went silent for a while. People are forgetting. They were fighting inside. Though. It wasn't. Im it wasn't immediately that they started giving. Um, interviews and they wanted to leave. There was a lot of conversations going on about, around their marriage. There was persecution on that. There were, there were issues when they wanted to 
um, still do their royal duties and create a, a, yeah. a thing. They didn't allow them. There was a lot of issues, and I'm sure they were fighting personally. So for you to get to a point where you feel like you have no other choice, we're talking suicide now, like, I feel like they've gotten to the low of the low, and then they had to escape. But like, how does that? Okay, let me let you talk. No, 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 go on, go on. How go does on, that please, even please. um help the whole situation? Like, I, I, I think talk, because yeah. they are a public figure, okay. if you get what I mean, like they had a responsibility that they dropped. That's a big deal, mm -hmm. right? You're the Dutch, you're the success of Dutch, um, Duchess of Sussex. Sussex you mean. have a public role to do, and they abandoned that. They fled the UK, fled the country. If anything, that can be categorized treason. Yeah. So for someone to do yeah. such, such an extreme move, I think the world will want to know wow. why. Okay. And they controlled the space and how they wanted people to know why. And that's their why. And I think that's, that's okay. It's never a problem to speak your mind, I, especially your, your, your struggles. Mm. I don't think it's a problem. Mm -hmm. I think the audacity and the effrontery of everyone thinking they have a, an opinion in the you know, royal family's business, thinking it's public for us to come and talk about racism. Everyone has been talking about it. has been the first time in the history of history for this to happen. And then suddenly everybody thinks in the first time in history of history, you are going to be a commoner and you're going to have a say. Who's a commoner? Who do you think you are? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not speaking to anyone. I'm talking about people that feel they have an opinion about it. Who do you think you everyone, are? To I correct that really hold up, me. hold up. I'm not done. Ha. Can you just hold up? Do you know we up? pay for them? Hold <laughs> up. <laughs> do you know? You who pays for them? Do you them? know that they they eat and breed off the UK taxes? Don't play. It is the the common no, right. No, the business. police officer that shoots your Nigerian youth up and down. They don't eat and breed from your payment, right? Exactly. Why and we have an suddenly, opinion about them as oh, well. Oh, now suddenly but you we, do. Yes, we do. Hold up. Hold up. We've always I had. allowed you speak, darling. Okay. So can you let me speak? Sure. Thank you oh. very much. All right. So. um the fact that everyone thinks they have, an, that they, they have an opinion about it and it's going to... It is a family issue, which I was glad when you said that. It is a family issue. Can they address it as a family? Now, a member of my family has come out, whether I'm the president or not, and has spoken about my tribalism, how I do not like Igbo people or how I do not like Hausa people or people from Efik, whatever. And then you put it out there and I'm the president of the country. Can we address it as a family? Now, if the queen says, I had no knowledge. They said an unknown member of the royal family. They did not say the queen. They did not say Prince Charles. They didn't say nobody. Now, they are under investigation. They are carrying this out. Mm -hmm. If the queen says we are working on it, can we have our privacy? Now, if somebody loses somebody in the family and they say we want our respect as a family, we would respect that. Very different. How is it very different? It is a family issue. Mm. Can you let this be? The fact that they went on Oprah, now, you guys need to understand the nitty-gritty of how the Oprah interview even came about. They said they fled the UK. Now, who gave them asylum? Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. He gave them a house. He gave them security. Mm -hmm. Who is Tyler Perry's godmother? Oprah. Mm -hmm. Now, they have a blast interview mm -hmm. and everybody thinks oh that's the interview we should run off we need to be logical when hey, we speak my God. hold up she hasn't speaking she hasn't speaking she hasn't speaking the queen at the palace has also put out statement but you do not expect a royal institution to come out and tell you exactly what you want to hear like you're on Oprah. The fact that they're not doing that and they're putting out an official statement, I think let them, no, she has acknowledged it. I think that's the least we can do, but I think she we're so what? much that, oh, <laughs> this is going on in the family and we want the investigation. They even call the crisis meeting. If you know about crisis meetings in the Buckingham Palace, you will know that unless it is absolutely necessary Necessary. They don't call for such meetings. So that is, in itself is a step in the right direction for them to even call for crisis meetings and then say, okay, and then they release a statement afterwards. So I think, you know what? As a family, I want to respect these people as a family, as an institution. Do I still believe in it? Do we believe that there's racism in the, in, in the UK? Yes, I'm not even talking about just the royal family. Do we believe there are people that still think they're white supremacists? Why can't we run Hold up. Interview. Hold up. Why are you taking me back? I was five years away from that. Hmm. Oh so we cannot, we cannot <laughs> I'm just adjust. asking you, like, why didn't you ask me then? Because I'm I, waiting for when, you to I'm, finish, I'm going further now. I'm like, you're disturbing my train of sorry, thought. Sorry about that. Exactly. So, uh, like I was saying, I want these people to know that, look, I want the people, especially those that are following the story, 
can we just see how this unfolds? Now, if you feel that justice hasn't been served in any way, they have called their family and said, no, they will be loved by the royal family. Yes, there is racism. Yes, there is all of that. But why are we not thinking about some people going overboard as well? I'm not in support of anybody in this situation. I just want justice to be served. That's my take. Who needs the Fair, justice? Fair, you, said, you said a lot of things. Too like, many contradictory you, you things. things. Oh, we shouldn't um, <sighs> get involved in it. Oh, the public really don't <sighs> have a say in this. Oh, you're against. Mm, you're, you're, yeah, you're very yeah, sure about the yeah. race. And what did you come? What's your conclusion? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> First, okay. What's your conclusion for all like for, for like, everything you said? Yeah, you didn't pull out nothing. Um, I pu I pulled out a few things. Yes, you exactly. you admitted the racism thing. It's possibly it's happening, but but I hate the fact that everybody's saying oh the Queen's statement is so well put. Of course, everybody's it seems what? well put everybody's together. Femi addition of rights for the president of Nigeria. God. If I, me, I want to know why you said. We cannot run off that interview. They now made an interview. They that was even was like. <laughs> Do you know what? I Mind can't blood. run off that interview because it is a strategic interview. It was an oh, interview that was planned because, from day one. Because the person wanted to control oh, please, their stop. own don't story. Don't act naive. Don't act naive. Don't act like you don't know. Don't act Anyways, ignorant. Anyways, that's your Because I know we know. That's your opinion. I know Jesus we Christ. know. Now, wow. that's your opinion. That's very scary. It actually gives me shivers because I can imagine if something is going on and my life is being dragged in the media and then i try to make my own story straight and i bring the person i trust i like that you even brought the connotation because yeah. the person that shouted me yeah. there's options yeah the only person that shouted me that i felt safe to go options to, okay and give then, me a second option wait Nifel, options. If I, the person well, that shouted the you think that the, um, Tyler Price is the only person that can Obviously, that can the, the, that can the, really have, which other one do you know it's from america which, is, which one do i know am i their personal friend uh, but are you going to say that saying. Tyler Price is the only friend that they have make it make sense it's making sense. You're so, not making. <laughs> um, you know, for them to now, for you to go as far as Tyler Perry now going as far as opening your home to them, obviously that makes you an enemy of the royal palace. Best mm, believe. Yeah. You know, you're doing all of that, and then you you even mentioned the the relationship between her and Oprah. That's the more reason why they probably have a, a close enough relationship to feel safe that their words will not be twisted. That they that they, you know you can give an interview here and only clip out the part yeah. that makes this thing whatever. They've done Very that in good. the past, so you now choose somebody that you trust and. And yes, people will still say if that's I, not enough. If, if like, what's son... the problem with that? Another thing I want to say about your narrative is that there is a very big difference between the family and the institution. And Megan was very, very clear about that. If my... Even in her interview, she mentioned that what she realized was that the family, that her interaction with the family and her interaction with the institution as in the palace was completely different. If my okay, son so... committed murder and I am a son, I am a lawyer, you will tell me to step down so that I'm not going to have a biased view. So that another lawyer can take over the case, right? So it is in this case. Now, you're talking about people they're comfortable with. Now, this is an accusation on a royal institution. Now, these are things you want to talk about the queen, the queen of England. And then I expect a neutral body. Run to the... Oh, come on, man. Guys, don't let us... See, we get to pick and choose. I don't know if you're just arguing because you want to argue or you genuinely believe what you're saying. Because if are you trying to say that... Um, Megan and because you compared it to murder. I'm saying there's extreme. no neutrality. Um, um, are you in trying to any... say that Megan and because they've not accused these people of much? Really. Yeah, you said it's a, um, an accusation. <laughs> yeah, and they've not accused them of much. They're not saying that these people are. So the accusation of said, um, racism what said, is what? Uh, you think that that's somebody beyond? Mentioned. So the queen is not somebody that we can accuse of racism. Is that what you're saying? Or the palace or the institution is not something that we can accuse of racism. It's too far. It's too big for them to do that. They're That's out of it. bounds to say that they've been oppressed. Are you hearing what is coming okay, out Omar, you today? Said something. Like, you as much about, as you want um, to claim we're woke, we're woke, we're woke. See, when you are woke, when they say, Tomo, Deban, Sukun, Omar, Roju, Do you know what it means? When a child cries, it's still they see road. So you're basically upset that somebody wants to take power over their lives. And I'm basically racism. upset that you don't want to look at the road while you are crying. Mm, while you okay. are crying, look Please, at the road. crying. Oh, okay, okay. I'm that, a real family. Um, she made it like she was she was being particular about family, like she made it clear family and mm. the institution. What Very exactly different. did she um when talking about family? Like who did she or who who did she place the um the talk about the races? So Nobody. The institution. So the racist. No, not the, no. Institution. the institution. No, she I'm said an you, unknown I'm not member. You. No, in fact, these are very you, different okay? conversations. Mm. So the institution is the one that labels them, right? Okay. It's the institution, the monarchy, that gives the power to say you are now the Duchess mm. of um, Sussex, right? Mm -hmm. They're supposed to do that for for 
the son for, for the grandson. Yeah. The institution denied them. They don't have a right, but they did anyway. So that's the institution. One? Now the family member, whoever else, you know, it's a mix. It's like it's like imagine if Buhari is your dad, for example, Ooh. and yeah, you know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine Buhari is your dad. So Buhari is supposed to give your dad is supposed to give you the. Um, I mean, you, you have to. Let's say I, was, I worked for Buhari and I'm his daughter, and I'm supposed to be penned as the chief of staff, for example. This is very flimsy, right? Yeah. I can talk to my dad about it and say, Dad, I'm supposed to be crowned, whatever. That's how I'm supposed to be because I'm the daughter, I'm the first daughter. You know, we can have a conversation. And then as Buhari, he cannot crown me as a dad. He will not crown me as the, pre, the running president. Okay. Or da, 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 da. So they went to the per, unknown, per, unmentioned person. Unknown, yeah, unknown Body. person member of the royal family and that person denied them through the institution oh, okay. do you understand what okay, i'm trying okay. to say but okay. then she was very clear she was she kept emphasizing on that i don't know if you watched the interview properly i did she was very clear that um uh, what's it called the the institution had other issues yeah the institution Mark had other issues. Like, I mean, I'm guessing maybe the staffs as well were racist to her. All the conversations about the skin color. Yeah. That wasn't just in the family, Why? for example. That was like the... I don't know if you know how the palace works. It is a office, exactly, basically. Yeah. So, if I, like, what do you have to say about that? What I have to say about that... Uh, um, 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 I'm, I'm coming. I'm looking for a particular post on my life. So, I think you guys should carry on. Because I want to pull out a certain section of the royal family law where it says that Archie is not... Look, the moment you Archie's drop... Not oh, words. wait. Why are you so much jumping? You're, Calm you your nerves. You say something and you don't finish up and then you go wait, to another one. Archie is not, is not entitled to anything according to a certain section. And I'm going to find it because Reno was the one who called that out. And as long as that is, the moment you drop your titles, you drop this, you so drop... So before they dropped anything now. Yes. You, oh, okay. Okay, so you guys know it all. Go on. We, I, you have to bring yes. out that thing. No, I'm not. I'm not. I will bring it out maybe in the next episode, but I'm not anymore because I see we don't have logical reasoning on this table right now. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's go to Nigeria. Maybe we would have enough logic for a fair. Yes! Popular Nigerian comedian Mr. Macaroni has reacted to the International Women's Day message that was issued out by the Nigerian police force as a way of celebrating alongside the female folks. Recall that the wrath of the Nigerian police befell Mr. Macaroni when he joined the Occupy Lekito gate protest that happened a few weeks ago, which eventually led to his arrest. In a recent development, Mr. Macaroni has criticized the message from the police. He insisted that no form of packaging and camouflage can erase the bitter and sad memories that they have caused fellow Nigerians. And I quote, Mr. Mac uh, I don't know, he basically... Um, he basically said a lot. Mr. Macaroni insisted that no form of packaging, camouflage, can erase the bitter and sad memories that they had caused to Nigerians, people, da 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 da. And he had obviously had a lot of um, feedback to that. But <laughs> I guess this is, an, this is a very good example as well of you know somebody fighting an institution, I mm. guess. Um, but what, what, what's your take, take on that? Um, I think he's, well, well, for what he experienced, it's okay for him to <laughs> <laughs> to say such. It's okay for him to say such. Right. Um, Cover what he experienced, mm. and um, but it's true somehow. It is because um, they're really trying to like make us forget about mm. what has happened. Mm. And you guys, are you guys aware that there's a documentary about what happened on the mm -hmm. fourth of several documentary? Okay, so there's this very one I saw. Like it took me back again. So mm. I don't think there's actually anything if they don't do the actual thing that they have to do which is um I, serving on justice mm. then every other thing they're doing the, the, we're, we're not ready to buy it i swear so they just have to do what is right and i noticed something at the target when i was coming they're so painting they're, yeah imagine when i saw it i was like okay what is going on okay. there's already even traffic already from just painting exactly so imagine, imagine like, when it starts now i don't know is that not a crime scene is that does that mean that the that the I case think is been closed. Like a crime scene. It was treated like it a was, crime scene. I just first, remember um, Fashola first, yes. and his walk. Oh, that for how many days? The, the fact that we were driving past that to get free of charge, it was not treated like a crime it scene. It was treated as a crime scene what was, for what a was, minute. What, it what was. was. What, was this, what was supposed to have been done? That place should have been shut down. You should have passed alternative route until the case was over. 
But as Nigerians, we do not care about such things, right? As long as we are comfortable, no, that's no. what we run But you know, the first thing, first, first place about? is, the thing is, first off, you know, you can't pass there before mm. without doing yes. the whole thing. But you're so, passing for free. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. So when the whole thing happened and everywhere was just rough and all of that, the fact that they cannot come and still take something from mm. we, the citizens, anymore is... Is something now the first thing that came out of the first month is this traffic from painting already. Now imagine if the star that is not the problem. We don't care about the traffic. We've been I just really just pick that out and seclude everything else that has been said. No, all I'm telling you is that look, we care about our selfish interests. Nobody has cared about the family, nobody has cared about the people who have been killed on that place. Nobody has been cared about that nobody place has not being all up. Nobody has been cared about, especially on this table, has cared about that place not being treated as a crime scene. But the moment that they started painting. Are you kidding me? We're saying we're against it. We're not. Are you kidding me, Fair? First of all, like first of all, don't speak for me. I'm not speaking Occupy, for you. Occupy um, Tollgate. I was there. Twice. I was there Twice. that day, and I had to drive off because everybody was like, "You need to keep on going." Mm. For you to say that we don't care on this table about the Tollgate is very offensive. Maybe very, speak very. for yourself. Okay. Because we do. I care about what's going then on the there. Then the traffic is not and the first thing that will come out of the person who wrong. cares you now. She, you need to you calm you down. Yes, saying? exactly. Like, what she was saying? She was, we're talking about the, the fact that they're painting. Yes, that's and what we're talking said, about. And she said they're already causing traffic with that. With the painting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that what, what we're emphasizing on is that they're moving on. Yeah, and then I said that, why are they even painting? See, you want to listen to what you want to listen to. But what I'm saying is... Um, Macaroni's point is valid. Not mm. valid. A, 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 it's an a, international a, women's a, day. A Every institution oh sent a shout if out. If they really want to do something, they should do it the right way. Yes, not period. Coming because not a, a, and day. not Come every on, right institution hand. actually said that. Not every every institution has not been dragged. If your institution is known for harassing women or contributing to the Name injustice one one, of women, Name one other trust one. me, Apart from the police they trust. have been dragged. Name one other one. King Burger mentioned on, on 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 Women's Day and said, "Women belong in the kitchen." I don't know if you've seen that. Mm. And it got spiraled up. Derogatory for crying out loud! The Nigerian police force put out a good message. If uh, the, the the institution itself is derogatory, and that's what we're fighting against. But the let's wrap up there. Yes, it but is. They it has us. not. Pro how has it saved? Us. Oh, come on, man. How has it saved us? The really bad quickly. eggs doesn't mean they're all bad. All right, we know, we know they're not all bad. So what are you but saying? For them to say an international woman's day, it's okay to be there reminded. There are very bad if, OAPs if, that beat their wives that were in if, the news. Uh, it is Do okay, I beat if, my uh, wife? It is okay for us to remind the police that as much as you want to post really nice things, there are very, a lot of unsettled injustice that yeah. needs to be um, observed. So put that energy in that. But that is a wrap. Thank you for joining us on this conversation. Please don't forget that you can have your own opinions as well invested into this with your text messages on our phone numbers and using the hashtag on all social media platforms. Remember you can tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. You can also catch up on all our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you out to my co as always serving us the Bass, Boos, Ifeolo, Shike, and Emerald. And I hope that you enjoyed all our conversations and our opinions today. Feel free to engage with us on social media as well. Thank you for watching. My name is Ifeolmai, your favorite.